In the military, you leave no man behind. That phrase refers to battlefield bravery. At home, though, there are those who are left behind. One local group makes sure they're not forgotten on two legs and four. It's today's acts of kindness. <laughs> Did you catch him? It's not always easy to catch up with Ray Erickson's fleet of dogs. See it? Maybe it was us making Colorado, Ruger, and Hawk so rambunctious. Maybe it was the reality that without Ray, these dogs wouldn't be here. We take dogs that are so terrified of their own shadow, they can't even come out, and they turn them into confident, happy animals. Ten years ago, Erickson saw a need. What happened to dogs when their elderly owners could no longer care for them? Basically, their dogs are left behind. So she started a nonprofit, the Those Left Behind Foundation. It helps the elderly feed and care for their pets. And when they can't, the group finds those animals new homes. The foundation now helps 150 pets across the valley. Had a girl. But while the pets Erickson helped weren't being left behind, she realized someone closer to her was, her son. You didn't know if you were going to get that phone call. He served in the Army for six years, deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan. The war, he survived. Being home, though. You live with that fear that I have got him out of overseas, but now am I going to lose him? Erickson worried her son's PTSD would make him part of a troubling statistic. 22 veterans take their own life every day. It's just not fair. So whatever we can do, whatever little bit we can do, we're going to do. Erickson got her son a service dog, Cody. If it had not been for Cody, he would have been one of those 22 veterans that we would have lost to suicide because no human could reach him. She was determined to help reach other veterans as well. Ray and I just kind of look at each other and say, are we really ready for this? And it's like, yeah, we're ready for this. Bring it on. Erickson and her friend Diane Meyer crafted a new idea. Hey, what if we took dogs, took them to a prison, had the prison train them, and then placed them with veterans with PTSD. Pups, prisoners, and patriots was born. These men are going to be your neighbors one day. These men are going to move into your communities. Do you want them to have compassion? Do you want them to have, them, want them to have skills? With this program, they do. Erickson and Meyer have nine dogs at Lovelock Prison at a time. And when they're done, each dog is certified as a service animal. But in truth, Everyone involved gets salvation. You were nominated for Acts of Kindness Award from oh Channel Oh my goodness! A. Cool. Wow! It's $800 from Channel Oh my a. God, that's wonderful! Thank you. That's Thank wonderful. you. The, the work that both of you do, obviously. They do love us. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> Indeed. Erickson and Meyer say the nonprofits are almost entirely self-funded. They do get some grants, though, and they're always looking for support. For more information, just head to LasVegasNow.com. As for Erickson's son, he's doing much better thanks to his support dog, and today he works for Tesla.